everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome back to my channel. A few videos ago, it was the I wore a corset every day for a week video, I mentioned that I had bought some new Ishakti dresses and I'd asked you guys if you wanted to maybe see a whole video about those Ishakti dresses and you said yes. And so I have decided to actually throw together a fall haul of all the clothing that I purchased in September and October and I think like the very very end of August in one case and all of this clothing actually comes from three different places so we have eShakti we also have Target because Target has been completely on the history bounding and cottagecore game recently these last couple years like they are just nailing it not to mention size inclusive so I'm just super proud of Target and also from thrift stores so those are really like the three main places that I shop other than Joann's for fabric and so what I've decided to do is to show you all of these new clothing pieces and pair them with things that I have either sewn completely by scratch or I have upcycled and I thought that that would be a really fun sort of combination of everything that I do on this channel of the thrifting and fun, e-shakti, clothing, etc., and also the sewing. So let's go ahead and dive in. We are going to start with the e-shakti finds. So the first dress that I wanted to talk about from e-shakti is actually this one right here. Now this dress is called the Night Sky Print Georgette Banded Empire Dress and I got this one with a few different customizations. So that is the wonderful thing about eShakti, which by the way this video is not sponsored, but I have worked with eShakti in the past and I do also have a wonderful affiliate code for all of you, so if you have not purchased anything from eShakti before and you want to try them out, I will leave a code down in the description below that will save you $25 off of your first order and of course it also helps me out so I do super super appreciate it if you use that. But anyway, on to those customizations. So eShakti lets you customize everything that you buy from them and your first three customizations are actually free so that is super awesome and then it's really not very expensive i think it's like 9.95 to do any other customizations on any future purchases but you can customize your size like you give them your measurements and they make it for your size which is amazing you can also change necklines you can change sleeve lengths you can change skirt lengths it's it's really wonderful so what I did with this one this was originally supposed to be this dress right here and it had short sleeves and a shorter skirt so I lengthened the skirt added the sleeves I don't think I changed the neckline on this I think it's still the same neckline because I liked that lower open neckline and I always wear a camisole so I never feel a little too worried about that and then I also customized it to my measurements and I just love this dress I think it is so so pretty this is one of their Georgette dresses so that means it is polyester unfortunately but it was just so pretty and this is one that I feel could really work well as like a day dress or even something if you wanted to dress up for a fancy occasion because it is that longer skirt and it's got this like lovely sheer sleeve I don't know I'm just I saw it and this whole order was basically based around this dress because I was like oh my gosh I have to have this dress it's so pretty. I actually have one that's kind of similar-ish to this like solar system print. I think my other one just has stars that I got several years ago from the thrift store of all places but that one's short sleeves and it's a shorter skirt than I really prefer and so I'm so happy to have one now that is everything that I want in a dress. Next up we have another eShakti dress. And that is this one right here. This one is unfortunately out of stock, so sadly you can't go and buy this exact dress. They do have products that tend to come in and out of stock sometimes pretty quickly, but they always have various types of shirt dresses. So even if you can't get this exact style, I'm sure that you can find one that you like and that will fit you really nicely. This one though was called the self button front cotton check shirt dress. And from the image, I didn't think I would like it at all. It was supposed to be a sleeveless dress and like knee length with a big old slit. So anyway, I added sleeves. I think I actually changed the collar on this one too. I can't remember if it originally had the pointed collar here and I super lengthened the skirt because I wanted this one to be really great for fall and winter and all those colder months and this is going to be. It's a nice heavyweight cotton and it's just like 
it's so comfortable like it's so soft and I'm just very very excited about this dress I cannot wait to wear it I've actually so I've worn a lot of the thrifted items in a lot of the videos that you've already seen in the last couple of months but I've been trying to save the Ishakti dresses for the last few weeks so that I wouldn't spoil them for you which I know is silly but now I can wear them in all my videos so yay fun new dresses and I love that this one has a really like vintage style but still with a modern twist things like the tie belt and honestly the pattern is probably not something super vintagey either but it still really has that vintage flair so I love it Next up, we have the last Ishakti dress in here. I did originally buy four dresses, but the fourth one just was not a good look on me at all. So that one I did return. Ishakti luckily has a really great return policy too, which you would not expect from a place that does custom clothing, but it's pretty much like a no questions asked, I think, return. Like if it doesn't fit, you can exchange it and get a different size, or you can just return it if you don't like it. It's really really quite brilliant. So anyway, this is the last Ishakti that I kept. And this one is their stretch like jersey. It's like a heavyweight jersey fabric. And I have a bunch of dresses in this fabric. And in fact, I have a dress in this exact same style, but mine was in kind of like a purpley kind of eggplant or plum color. And I found that one years ago also in the thrift store and I have loved it. It's like the best audition dress. Use it for auditions all the freaking time. And unfortunately, now that I've had it for years and I've worn it tons, it is starting to fade. So I needed a new one and I figured red was a great color for auditions. So I went with this. And as you can see, it's got this really, really fun wrap belt sort of thing going on. And I think it's just one that really looks quite modern, but still has that I don't know, old school feel of the long skirt, longer sleeves and everything. And I think quite flattering and super comfortable with this stretch material. I will also leave the links for the two Ishakti dresses that are still available down in the description below. Now let's move on to the Target clothes. So as I briefly mentioned before, I just really have to applaud Target for all of the work that it's been doing lately on size inclusivity and also just really being on trend. I am blown away. I used to never shop at Target. They never seemed to have my size. The products didn't seem to be great quality, which the quality is still not always there, but the size inclusivity, just having that availability is really, really such a wonderful feeling to be able to, I generally buy it online, but they do even have plus size in stores and to be able to just go online and easily get my stuff to me, I can try it on, I can return it to the stores if I want, or I can send it back. Like, it's really been fantastic. So thank you, Target, for really being great. All of these blouses that I'm about to show you from Target are all still available, so I will link them down below. It's actually just two different styles of blouses, and one of them I liked a lot and I got in multiple colors, and the other one only came in one color, so I got two of them because you gotta buy the cute history bounding stuff when you can, right? So this is the first one, the first style, and this one is called Women's Striped Oversized Balloon Long Sleeve Button Down Shirt by A New Day of their line. And this is the one that I got in three different colors, and I also got it in two different sizes. So I bought an XXL for two of them, and then one of them was out of stock in the XXL, so I bought it in an XL, and it still works. It's just a little bit on the tighter side. So I thought that this was so cute with the cute Peter Pan collar and the ruffle and then the button up front and the balloon sleeves with the little button on the end. And I just think that this one is so cute and that's why I got it in three different colors. So they're really great for wearing under jumper dresses in particular, but you can pair them with skirts or even pants if you want. I mean, I don't wear pants, but like if you do, you totally could pair them with pants. And I think that they really have that cute cottage core or history bounding look to them. And I have paired this shirt with the gray and white cozy skirt. It's a flannel skirt that I made last December. So I will link that video down below. There's actually, I think, all three skirts that I made in that video are in this video. There's at least two of them, I know. I can't remember what all I made in that video, but I will link that video down below so that you can see the making of that cozy skirt or those cozy skirts. And yeah, I thought that it paired nicely with this because they're both gray and white and I don't have a lot of gray in my wardrobe. And so I thought it was fun to just kind of go with that monochromatic look or 
duochromatic look, I guess, and see how they would look together, even though it was a mix of patterns. I thought it was kind of fun. And similarly, there is this one. This is the one that I got in the XL. So it's a little bit tighter across the bust, but it was still good enough to fit. And that means that this is one that runs pretty oversized. I mean, it does mention oversized in the name. And that is true because normally I wear either an XXL, which is in the like straight sizes form, or I wear an X or a 1X in the plus sizes. So generally I do not fit into an XL in the straight sizes, but yeah, this one is oversized. So works quite well. And I just really, really wanted a black shirt to be able to wear under like Halloweeny things or whatever, because it's hard to find cute button up cottage core black shirts. Like they're ignoring the witch, the witch core, so. And I have paired this one with, of course, my pumpkin pinafore. So if you've been around my channel just for the last month or so, you will have seen this pumpkin pinafore dress, but I will link that down in the description below. And that dress was kind of the reason that I bought this shirt, because I just really wanted to be able to wear them together. So yeah. Next up, we've got the third one in that colorway, the third colorway in that blouse, and that is this really light blue one. Again, you don't see a lot of like different colors in the cottage core stuff. A lot of it is very white. Sometimes you get pink, occasionally you do get light blue. So I really, really liked this light blue one, and I thought that it went really well with my blue accidental Dorothy bound jumper dress that I made this spring. Now I know that this is more of a springtime look, but I mean, when I first made the jumper, I was wearing it with all shorter sleeved stuff. And now I have this longer sleeved one that I'm able to wear it with. Now, the one takeaway from the Target blouses is I have very long arms. I'm 5'10", my arms are super long. And so these blouses, I'm pretty sure all meant to be long sleeve. They're not long sleeve on me. They're, they're like three quarter sleeve or bracelet length or whatever. So I do wish that they would come with some longer lengths. The only store that I know of that does like tall sizes with longer sleeve lengths is Old Navy. But unfortunately, Old Navy did not at all jump on that cottagecore bandwagon. So I guess their loss, my loss, both our losses. So yeah, this is that third version of that blouse. So now to a very similar blouse, also from Target. And this one I actually bought while I was working on Little Women and I wound up using both versions of this blouse in Little Women, one for Meg and one for Joe. And I say both versions because I just bought this same blouse, but I bought it twice. But the thing is that while the other blouses, they kind of hit that bracelet or three quarter sleeve length and there's nothing you can do about it. This blouse actually has pin tucks in the sleeve. So because of the pin tucks, you are able to make the sleeve longer if you want to. You do have to undo the serging where the pin tucks are because the sleeve seam is serged shut. But that's what I did for Meg is I removed two of the pin tucks. I honestly probably should have removed three, but I removed two of them. And I also tightened up the elastic on the wrist because this right now, this fits great as a three quarter sleeve shirt. Like it fits this part of my arm. It's way too big for my wrist. So by tightening up the elastic and removing those tucks from the sleeve, it really does become a quite comfortable long sleeve shirt. So now I have one that is three quarter sleeve and the other one still in my closet is a long sleeve shirt. But other than that, they're both just white cotton. And I love the embroidered floral in this blouse. I think it's so, so cute. And this one just feels a little bit more cutesy girly, I think because of the embroidery and because of the tucks and also the ruffle at the bottom of the sleeve. But again, just cotton blouse. Mine is an XXL. This one is by Universal Thread and I think they call it the balloon sleeve blouse. I will have it linked down below. And I've paired this one with my Halloween plaid jumper or pinafore dress because I just thought that they looked kind of cute together. I didn't actually wind up wearing that at all with it. I might still because that dress really doesn't have a specific season like the pumpkin one does. So I might try wearing them together because I think it's pretty cute. And again, just really comfy. And thank you, Target, for providing cute cottagecore history bounding blouses for us plus size women. We all really appreciate it. Also, if you want to sponsor me, just, you know, let me know. Now on to the thrift haul portion of this video. So first we start with just a really fun, cute, cozy cardigan. I love cable knit. I think it's very comfy. I love cardigan sweaters. Again, just like very comfy and cozy. This one is Talbot's, it's an XL. I got all of these from the thrift store all in one trip and I think I spent about like 
$35 maybe altogether on all of them and it was only that high because one of them was new with tags so that one cost over $10 but all of the rest of them were like between three and eight dollars I think so this is why I love the thrift store. So yeah, this is just Talbot's and I have paired it with my pink striped pinafore that I didn't actually make a video on because it was the pattern test for the pattern that I released for the purple gingham jumper dress. So it is the exact same but with a narrower skirt and I just thought it was kind of a cute look with this. And if you do want to check out how I made the very similar dress to that, I will link the purple pinafore video down below, as well as the pattern, which is available on Etsy. But yeah, just a cute look. I know it's more springy than fall, but I'd say just wear pastels any time of year because life is short. Why not? Okay, this next sweater you have seen me wear in a ton of videos because it has become one of my favorite things ever. And it is this purple sweater. I just absolutely love it. It is just so freaking soft and for example I just got my COVID booster a couple of days ago. I wore this all day yesterday because I didn't want anything that wasn't soft to touch my skin because I when I get sick or feverish or whatever I get very like skin crawly skin sensitivity and so I wanted soft things. So yeah I've been like living in this lately and of course it pairs perfectly with my spiderweb skirt so that was another reason why I was wearing it a lot through October because I was wearing that skirt a lot through October and I just love this. It's actually a wool blend sweater. It's wool, nylon, and viscose and I love the rhinestone buttons and it is just like so soft. Next up is a thrift store purchase, but it's actually an Old Navy blouse. And honestly, if I had seen it in Old Navy, I probably would have purchased it from Old Navy because it's so cute. I love the puffed sleeves with this beautiful open weave pattern. This is a knit sweater blouse, three quarter sleeve, and then it has elastic in the sleeve with the little sort of shell ruffle at the bottom. It's not a color that I tend to wear a lot because you can see why, because it's like the color of my skin. But yeah, I just love it. And this is actually a large in Old Navy. So this sweater clearly ran super, super huge because normally I wear like an XL or a 2XL from Old Navy, but I just absolutely love this sweater. And again, this is one of those things that after my booster shot, I wore this on the first day because it's so, so soft. And I have paired this with my fall leaves tablecloth skirt, which I made last fall in a video about how to make the world's easiest skirt because it's literally a round tablecloth and all you have to do is cut a hole in the middle and put elastic on it. So I will leave that video linked down below if you want to check that out, but it is the easiest, easiest way to make a skirt. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're looking for a great beginner project. And I thought that it paired nicely with this new sweater. Just a few more left, and this one is in that color that I just cannot resist. This is my favorite color, this like royal blue type color, and I loved the buttons right here. This is actually Banana Republic, and it's a large. It's definitely a little tight on me. It's also a petite large, and so it does run a little bit tight and small on me, but because it's a petite, it actually hits pretty much right at my natural waist, which that's what I really like when sweaters do that. So I am all for that. I do find that when I buy sweaters, particularly at thrift stores, I always tend to go for a smaller size than what I would normally wear because I like to wear them in a more vintage style where the sweater is more fitted. I don't like big baggy oversized sweaters. So this one is actually like a silk and cashmere and all sorts of other things blend, which I was really surprised about, even though it can be machine wash, which is awesome. And again, this color was just to die for. And I have paired this with another of the cozy skirts, the blue cozy skirt. And I thought that it went really well with the navy of the cozy skirt, even though this is that royal blue color. So I expect to be wearing this one, this outfit a lot in the next few months. This one I know that you've seen in a couple of videos too. This is the one that I got that was new with tags on. So it is a Land's End sweater cardigan sweater. It's 1x. It was in great condition because it was new with tags and I love this color. I've actually been looking for a longer sleeve sweater in this color for a really long time because I only have a short sleeve one and I do really enjoy a nice emerald green and so I was really happy when I found this one. It is 
So on the tag, it says that it is mostly bomb wool, which I looked that up and it means cotton. So I don't know why the tag that is in English has cotton in it in German, but yeah, it's mostly cotton sweater. I've put a little Christmassy brooch on it to get ready for the holidays, but yeah, it's very, very comfy. And I have paired this with the plaid skirt that I don't think is from my cozy skirt video. So I'm going to have to find what video I made this plaid skirt for you in because I think I made this one actually last like summer of 2020, end of summer. And it was from a length of fabric that I found at the thrift store that I then pleated it into the skirt. So I'll find that video and I will link that down below. And lastly, we are going full Christmas time with our last sweater here because it's a Christmas sweater. So I actually have a sweater vest that is almost identical to this and it will be interesting when I dig that out of storage to see if it is also White Stag, which I believe White Stag is Walmart, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Walmart. I don't know what the size is because someone decided they didn't want to know and they cut off the tag. So this is just your standard like Mm, I would say probably 1990s Christmas sweater. Like it's that nicer quality, thicker stuff. And it does have a couple of beads loose, so I'm gonna have to do a little fixing on the beads. But I mean, the embroidery is just lovely with the poinsettias. I love the like beaded window pane look. It's so fun. And I have paired this with the velvet skirt that I upcycled in my history bounding upcycling video that I did, I think, in April or May. So I will link that video down below. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was just a fun little fall haul treat for you. I might go ahead and like do one of these seasonally. If this is something that you're interested in, just kind of every time that I do a bunch of shopping and every few months or something like that, to show you what I might have picked up, let me know if that's something that you're interested in and I'll continue this and we'll just do occasional hauls. If you like this video though, please do go ahead and click the thumbs up icon. And if you'd like to see more videos like this from me, please go ahead and click subscribe and the little bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. I do post videos here on YouTube twice a week with my sewing vlogs out on Tuesdays and other costuming or fashion content like this out on Saturdays, but I post every day over on my Instagram. So please go follow me on Instagram that's at Lady Rebecca Fashions. And if you'd like to help support all of the work that I do on this channel, I do have a link to my Patreon and my Ko-fi down in the description below. I'd also like to give a special shout out to my Edwardian level patron, Sharon. Thank you all so, so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Happy sewing!